I once visited an impoverished neighborhood of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Homes were made of corrugated iron, electricity wires dangled live above us. But there I had the privilege of interviewing families and hearing how local churches were helping to combat unemployment, drug use and crime. In one alleyway, I climbed a rickety ladder to a small room to interview a mother and her son. But just a moment later, one of our team rushed up saying, we need to leave now. It turned out a machete-wielding gang leader was gathering a mob to ambush us downstairs. As you can imagine, we left quickly. We moved on to a second neighborhood, but there we had no problem. And later I discovered why. As I visited each home, another gang leader, the most feared in the region, stood outside guarding us. It turned out his daughter was being fed and educated by the church, and because Christians were standing by her, he wanted to stand by us. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus redefines love. He tells us to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. This kind of love embraces not just the worthy, but the undeserving. He says, if we only love those who love us back, what kind of reward can we expect? This kind of love reaches beyond family and friends to those who won't or can't love us back. And he says, when we do this, we imitate the love of God, which blesses even gang leaders and their children. As Christians in Santo Domingo live this kind of love out, impoverished neighborhoods are starting to change. Tough hearts are even warming to their cause. That's what happens when God-sized love comes to town. If you've enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and comment below. We love hearing from you. Please help Trinity reach out to others and share this video with a friend by clicking the share link below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. God bless your day.